here's for the first time the setup of all the elements we need to decide about the column's final height. So the ancient rules uh, were that um, the column in the ideal proportion has to be seven times its diameter on the base. So this here is the diameter on the base but not this concrete but this this here this here you see this this is the base of the column and the plastering has to go to here so that base is calculated to be 50 now 50 times 7 starts here 50 times 7 is 3 meter 50 350 centimeters and it's going to be up measured from here from there from the pedestal top till the top of the column capital including that square plate which is uh, on top of that round capital So uh, what I described to you as a capital, that's, this is the capital, capital. The head of that column shaft is this, and this top plate has a special name, which I don't know now, but I know that it has a special name in English, uh, in Greek also. So when you measure the column from that base plate, which has also a special name, which I don't know now, sorry, that one which I was just showing you, and this is now upside down. That, that is here, the column shaft in concrete, which you saw, is going to end here. And then we put that one on top. And from here till the bottom plate, that is the three meter 50. If the base of the shaft is 50 large. So here's that column head, capital, with that plate and I will measure the height of it now which is now according to this measurement something like 32 centimeters 33 33 33 that is the size of this item 33 so 33 have to be added to the total included in the total length of that entire column of 3 meter 50 Here's the shaft. So now all this starting here till the top, which still needs to be increased the size, has to be 3 meters 17. <coughs> 3 meters 17. And then I will add these 33 centimeters of uh, the capital and the plate. And then the whole thing is 3 meters 50 from, from here till the item I just show you which is not yet there all together 350 and with that 33 centimeter deducted we need to uh, still make that concrete higher to reach from that level to that level 3 meter 17 I, I will have a look how much is still missing now oh so I succeeded to put that metal tape measure uh, on the side of that column and it doesn't break down so now I know that these 3 meters 17 or 13 3 meters 17 which I still have to get from from uh, this level up to there up to there we need to mold one more section with our metal you see over there there is that metal that looks we're really gonna have to do that one for sure and even it may not be ah, it may be enough on that one and then we will put here up there we will put that column capital and that plate 
which means that everything together is going to be as high uh, as that entire, you know, these metal sticks sticking out on top there, that is going to be the more or less the final height of this entire column with the capital included. Now that looks pretty high, but it is actually exactly like it has to be. There's, if it's shorter, it can be also sometimes the ratio of six times the dimension. I was reading that uh, and it's still in some classical norm, but if you do it seven times, it's just the way it has to be according to the masters of the classic antiquity or of the Renaissance where they revived all these things again. And uh, now the advantage of having that column uh, long like this, like all these metal sticks sticking out there, will be that we have a better view. I mean, what is the point of being in a nice place and just covering everything up? So the idea to have this natural beauty uh, and the classical architecture combined is going to be uh, it's going to be possible to have a look at the nature and at the columns at the same time so uh, the, the 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 trees all here will not be covered up and we can plan to make this place like a small pavilion or pergola whatever but very soon to have that beautiful column standing there now it's just a raw thing it's that that shaft here is not correct okay it's going to be 50 large so we need, need to make it 10 centimeters larger on the lower part uh, more or less till where is that cover of that potato bag and f starting where the potato bag is that's where the column starts to uh, decrease in size little by little till the top where my tape measure is still somehow visible it's not going till the end of the metal screen but that's more or less the area where it will be 40 large like that column shaft is now and that will be the entasis of that column correctly done entasis you check on uh, Google Wikipedia E-N-T-A-S-I-S -S, and then you will understand what this is about because unfortunately we see many people still uh, making nice houses and building columns and getting them done but they are don't they don't know about these rules so for the insiders this looks a little bit like had money had the wish but didn't get the right advice so on this video I give you advice do the columns in the right way according to the classical master's rules and you will have a nice column and even some people who know about it they will be appreciating your work 